Data is a big part of Formula One racing, um, a huge part of how we develop the cars and also run them uh, effectively at the track uh, within a race or in terms of analysing things after a race. When I started in Formula One, which was um, almost 30 years ago now actually, we were uh, at the, the, the pioneering stage of putting data on the cars. So our first data logger had only eight channels and could record only one lap at a fairly lay, low data rate. We've come a long way since then. We now have many, many hundreds of channels of data from hundreds of different sensors and different parameters within the engine, the gearbox, and the suspension and aerodynamics of the car. So the importance of data gathering is much increased by the limited number of hours that we're allowed to spend on track. And in fact, we're talking about a very limited resource. Track time is one of our greatest resources and one of the ones that we can't affect in any way. We have a fixed number of minutes that car is going to spend on the track and we need to take the most efficient use of that. And that means gathering as much data as we possibly can for every second and reducing the amount of time that we spend getting access to that data when the car is not physically out and moving. So when we began working with Qualcomm, the fundamental technology we were using was the infrared camera. That hasn't changed. What has changed is our ability to process that information and get to it quickly. So in the past, we would plug in the infrared cameras when the car came in. We would have a few seconds in order to extract as much data as we possibly could, and then the car would have to go back out. We were never able to extract the full amount of information until after sessions, which meant the real-time nature of that data was lost to us. And so what Qualcomm's allowed us to do is two things. One, extract that information much more quickly. So by the time the car pulls back into the garage, we've got that information wirelessly. And two, actually process it live. So what the Snapdragon processor on board is doing is extracting information from those infrared images and streaming it to us over the telemetry system and that means we're seeing things about how the driver is doing a corner before he gets to the next corner. So what we're looking at here is a camera pod that you might see on the side of the car throughout the whole weekend but let's say the more uh, sharp-eyed fan might notice a couple of differences about this one that will run on a Friday for us and in particular you can see at the front here a lens and a similar one at the rear and these are for infrared cameras that are pointing at the tire. So each one of these has a field of view that is really focused in on the tire and it's allowing us to pick up the thermal profile of that tire and really dynamically look at what the tire is doing. And the other thing you'll pick up that's different than a normal pod are these little antennas. And this brings us to the sort of second critical feature of this, which is that we can get the information from those cameras and get it back to us in the pits when we pull the car back in without connecting anything physically. Formula One is becoming more and more road relevant in, in the modern era in a way it's never been in the past. So much of the technology that we develop in Formula One is in the end going to be used potentially on, on the road cars that you and I drive. Um, one of the clearest examples of that is on the hybrid power unit where we, we've really set the benchmark in the last four or five years for the efficiency that is possible with, a, with an internal combustion engine based power plant. Working with technical partners such as Qualcomm it's helping us develop our racing cars much more quickly and more effectively and that in turn will help develop the technology for use on road cars in due course.